Hey, what's up, guys? So today we are going to explore this tiny device. This one is Nokia's Nokia 6700 Classic, released back in 2009, and it's a 15 years old device. One thing about this device, which I like, actually, the build quality. It is made out of stainless steel and also have plastic, but they used really good plastic, actually. So going with the physical overview of this device as you can see here in front we got a 2.2 inch tft lcd display pretty typical for nokia devices the resolution is 240 by 320 and we got our t9 keypad right hand side we got volume rockers and also we got a twist stage shutter key which is kind of rare for nokia series 40 devices getting volume buttons and shutter buttons easily we get it with symbian s60 devices but here we got it and on the back we got a 5 megapixel autofocus camera with flash the speaker quality of this device is really really good actually left hand side we don't have anything on top we don't have anything and on the bottom we got micro usb port and a barrel jack to charge the device we can use micro usb port to charge the device too actually that's good actually some of the nokia devices cannot be charged with micro usb port or whatever port it got you can't charge them and if i slide so as you can see here it uses a bl6q battery and my sim card is there and also i did put sd card here so now let's explore the device So as I said, this device is Series 40 device, so nothing much you can do with this device right now. And it got 3.5G, so it does support 3G and phone call and messaging still works perfectly fine. No issue with those kind of thing. And also it got a ambient light sensor, so it turns on the keyboard light when it is dark. So that's good actually. And going with the menu button, what we are getting, we are getting messaging, contact, log, setting, gallery, maps, calendar, apps, web and sim card application. Going with the messaging, uh, you can still do messaging here, no issue with that, contact and logs, we all know what's there. And going with the setting, we got profile, theme, tones, lights display setting the one of the downside of series 40 devices is that you can't really reduce the brightness or increase the brightness so it stays in fixed brightness rather than that in the display setting we also got a screen saver option font option and call info display date and time quick shortcut so you can change the shortcut key of this four navigation button and these two buttons you can change them and in the connectivity section as you can see we got gps on this device bluetooth works and other things in the call section as you know same things phone memory status so it got 170 mb of internal storage and you can put your sd card up to 16 gig maybe or it can take more than that and also we got sensor so as you can see sensor is on right now so as i said it got a ambient light sensor and also clock you can change it to digital and there are a few other things phone updates doesn't work network mode you can change it to umts gsm or dual mode startup tone and other things accessories configuration other than that there is nothing much going on there is light effect when someone calls this light blinks you can turn it on or off In the display setting nothing much going on and if you want to change the theme you can change the theme on this device so there are five pre-installed themes as you can see here these themes are pre-installed and i do have few other themes which i have downloaded going back in the tone setting we got all the tones and if i go here nokia tones option change so open gallery so we have 29 actually so 20 of them ring tones and nine of them alert tones so all of them here actually sound quality of this device is excellent actually beside that nothing much going back so in terms of maps maps doesn't work anymore maybe it is outdated so it doesn't connect to the server and in the app section there is games so we got five games here actually one two three four five pre-installed games 
and I really like Bouncy Tales, one of my favorite games, Bouncy Tales. And I did install a few other games here, as you can see, JTube and Prince of Persia. So JTube is kind of works. So if I press on JTube, it can load the page, but it cannot play videos. It would be awesome if it, it could play like YouTube videos because it's 15 years old. And if it could play YouTube videos, that would be awesome because some of the Windows phone, even some of the Android phone now cannot play youtube videos so now it is loading and as you can see here the page loaded so it can load the content but it cannot play the content so if i try to play something as you can see just we are getting some error close and this game still works so if i try bouncy tails so as you can see here these games works and I did install a few other games if I go to my SD card and Java 240 by 320 so if you want to install games on your device like this kind of device you need to know the resolution of the display then you can download the game so this display is 240 by 320 so I have downloaded few games not all the games will work but most of them should work actually so as you can see here I have downloaded few games like block breakers city blocks deer hunter diamond rush these all are my favorite games which i used to play in my childhood so that's why i downloaded all of them and all of them works perfectly fine so if i try to open moto gps as you can see here sorry. sorry all the games actually works perfectly fine and there are all the themes which i have downloaded so let's let me select a theme right now By the way, these themes are not really made for this device, so the icon will not be that great. These are for Nokia's Asha series phone, so I did like review these themes before. And in the collection section, there are a few other things like Facebook, MySpace, YouTube. This doesn't work anymore. Only thing works Opera Mini. So if I open Opera Mini, by the way you can still browse here actually although the browsing experience will not be that great but still you can browse if i try to open what trick as you can see here the internet and as you can see it can load the page without any kind of issue and yes that's it what you can do with this browser not much actually you can still like browse facebook here and you can still like send messages from facebook but the experience will be very bad but other than that there is nothing much you can do with this device for phone calls and messaging this is excellent device and one more thing which a bible on this device is the camera so if you short press it will open the camera as you can see here but if you press long it will open the camera in recording mode so as you can see here you can record you can shoot up to 480p video in 15 fps on this device actually the quality will not be that great but what you can expect from a 15 years old device by the way i really like the device it's a little heavy because of the metal chassis and the back plate it's a really premium device actually it builds very well it sounds very well and it's a perfect dumb phone i have to say it can connect to the network the phone call quality is excellent that's it but for the messaging you can still do but it will be a little tough if you're using a smartphone but for me i really enjoy like typing on this kind of device because they are very tactile as you can see here by the way this one is one of the excellent device actually i have owned and i really like this device so that's all about nokia's nokia 6700 classic thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one